What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this peel type effect. Um, this is going to take two steps. Um, basically you have your main uh, logo here and then you can kind of have, uh, like you see this white part here, it's peeling away from the red part. Um, and then you got to do a second part to get all these other shreds um, to make it look like a lot more is peeling off. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So first off, you're just going to want to get your logo. So um, I'm just going to go and take this real quick and just hide that. I'm just going to delete the tags while in the color. <clears throat> so got your logo. Then what you're going to do is duplicate it. And then uh, on the duplicated one, you're going to want to hit C on the keyboard. Then right click, select children, right click, connect objects, and delete. <laughs> On the original extrude, um, extrude nerves or text or whatever you're using, uh, you just want to add whatever material you want, um, like a metal material or something. Um, I'm just using this red material. Um, it's not a good material at all, it's just basic red, just so you can see the difference in color. Uh, then you want to go to the uh, object you duplicated and made edible, and you're going to want to right click, go to simulation tags, cloth. Then you want to go to uh, Make sure you're on the tag tab and then go to use tear. Then go to forces, gravity, just put that at zero. Wind direction, put that about like seven. Um, wind strength, go about three. And um, then if you play this forward, go to zero and just kind of move forward to the end. Um, you can see it has this peeling effect starting to go. As you can see, it doesn't look real great right now, but if we go back to zero and go to simulate cloth, cloth nerves, uh, put in that object, then you go to uh, uh, the hyper nerves tab, get a hyper nerves, and put the cloth nerves in the hyper nerves, and then go back to zero and go forward, and it should make a lot more cleaner peel, as you can see there. Now, if you truly want, you can be done and use this as an effect on your render or you can do this next step which is uh, you're going to want to get a sphere and uh, I'm just going to put these in their own little null and I'm going to duplicate the original logo and I'm just going to hide this for now by double clicking both these uh, circles to make them red and I'm going to go to the sphere and I'm going to make it big enough so it fits the whole logo in there and then I'm going to put the segments at about 50 uh, you just have to add segments, you can add as many as you want um, then I'm going to go to the um, extrude nerves and I'm going to hit C on the keyboard right click, select children right click, connect objects and delete then I'm going to right click on it go to simulation tags and cloth collider then I'm going to go to my sphere I'm going to hit C on the keyboard right click, simulation tags, cloth I'm going to go to gravity, put that on zero. Go to global drag, go about 15. Uh, you can go anywhere between like 5 and 25, that'll all work. Um, wind direction, I'm going to go 7 again. Wind strength, I'm going to go 3 again. Um, and then go to the tag tab and click use tear. Now, um, if you play this through, it should have a gr gross looking kind of tear on the circle, as you can see right there it doesn't even tear. Um, I'm just going to go back to zero. I'm going to do the same thing we did before and go to cloth, cloth nerves, and then get a hyper nerves and put that in there. Now if we play this through, it should look a lot better. Um, as you can see, we're not having enough wind in order for it to, to rip. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go in here, go to the cloth tag, <clears throat> and oh, I added the wrong um, object to it. So now let's see if it works. And still, you can see it's starting to rip there. Not quite what we want still. So I'm going to go to the cloth and I'm going to go to forces. And um, I'm actually going to bump up the strength to about four. I'm going to bump the turbulence strength up to about two. And yeah, I'm going to go to tags and Tear, I'm gonna just put that at 110 and now let's see how this looks 
Hopefully it looks a lot better. All right, so there we go. Starting to tear more. I'm still not quite where we want, so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna bump up the wind speed um, just to hurry this up. Wind strength. I'm gonna go 10. Hopefully that works. Um, and again, you can just play around the settings, get what you want. And there we go. That's much better. So as you can see, it's like ripping off. And since we made this um, a cloth collider, some of it will stick on the side, the, the sides there. And then if we make this visible again, you can see this is starting to peel away as well. So I'm just going to go to the beginning and just go forward. And there you go. There's the basic effect. You can play with the settings, um, make it a lot better. Um, this is looking a little funky over here, so I'm going to just move this over a little bit so it might look a little better. And, uh, yeah. All right, so... That's basically the tutorial, guys. Um, again, you're just going to have to play around with the settings to get them how you like. Uh, you don't have to use both of these. If you want, you can say if you don't want this one, you can just delete it and just use the circular one. And, of course, um, you can met mess around with the original render. So if you'd like, you can uh, put this in an atom array like this. Do something like that. And, yeah, you can just mess around with this. Um, get cool effects. Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next